So I'm going to present my PhD thesis, one chapter of it, which is the biogeography, evolution, and systematic of Caseaia with a focus in the neotropics. Uh, so the genus Caseaia, for those who don't know it, it's a, it's a pantropical genus, but it's found in America, Africa, Asia, and Oceania. It was described by Jacquin in 1760 with Caribbean specimen, and it's uh, distributed all around the neotropics. So it's a great um, it's a great genus to study the history, the biogeography of the neotropics. And it is also the most species rich genus of the Salicaceae family. But despite of that, it was very uh, not studied and we don't have a phylogeny until now. So what does it look like? Uh, there are tree or shrubs with peninervated and serrate leaves. They have pedlucid dyes, dots and light on the, on the leaves, which are very characteristical axillary flowers, fasciculate inflorescence, and no petal, and free staminodes, which are sterile stamen. So what are the different research questions that I ask in this chapter? The question, the main question is, is Caseaia monophyletics? What are the sister genera of Caseaia? We also investigated if there are some synapomorphia of the genus, and we try to find out when the group originated and what is the center of origin, so the biogeography. So we published an article that is uh, accepted and is going to be published soon about this in Taxon. So hopefully you can read it soon. So for the Taxon sampling, I did some field work in Colombia, on the Caribbean part of Colombia. And I also had some samples that were coming from Cuba, from previous expedition from the Botanical Garden in Berlin. And I also did some herbarium sampling in the herbarium of uh, Bruxelles, Berlin, Paris, and Cartagena in Colombia. So in total, I have 42 species belonging to Caseaia and 13 belonging to the external group. For the phylogenetic analysis, we used four plastid marker, one nuclear marker, and we did Bayesian inference, maximum likelihood, and maximum parsimony analysis. And then we did some ancestral morphological character construction using the base tray. We did some time divergence estimation with beasts and some ancestral agria reconstruction with uh, pure geobears in RASP. I'm not going to go to find the material and method, but if you have questions after that, you can ask me. So this is the phylogenetic tree that we found. So the good news is that we retrieve a monophyletic caseaia clade with all the species that were sampled within and with good support. Within the caseaia clade, we have nine subclades, and we also found some sister species of caseaia that belong to the Samidae tribe, which is the tribe of caseaia. Another good news is that there was in 2019 three genera, Laesia, Samida, and Suelania, that were on the basis of morphological character merged with Caseaia. And we found a few accession uh, that were nested within Caseaia. So, yes. An interesting result that we also found is that we sampled two neotropical genus, Neoptico Caprid and Ocerraea, and we retrieved them nested with Gustuport within the Caseaia clade. So the first of those of uh, this genus is Oceraea. It was described by Marcius, and it's a free species in South America. They were separated from Caseaia on the basis of the um, spikes. So the inflorescence is a spikes when Caseaia is mostly fascicular glomerule. And for the Neoptychocarpus, it's also free species. And it was separated because the calyps lobes are fused into a tube. But this is also a feature that we found in some Caseaia species. And for the Dioeci which is, well, I mean, we know a lot of genus that have uh, the two kind of reproduction system. So on the base of those uh, morphological results and phylogenetical results, we will make the change in the uh, coming article and merge the two genera within Caseaia. And I'm not going to go too deep with the nuclear genus, the nuclear tree, but um, just know it was congruent with the, with the plastic tree. So it's also good news. Uh, then for the ancestral character state reconstruction, we selected characters that were usually described, um, used to describe the, the genus. So the type of inflorescence, the presence of pellucid dots, the number of stamen, the number of staminode, the number, the, if the stamens are in series or not. We also use some of uh, the character that uh, were, dis were used to put neoptic capus apart, like the reproduction system. And we did an ancestral, ancestral character state analysis and we recovered some synapomorphies, which, how can I put that away? Oh, yeah. So the pellucid dots were retrieved as a synapomorphy for the genus. Ah. 
Ah, okay. <laughs> and also one series of salmon and the fasciculate agglomerate inflorescence. But um, some character was retrieved as homoplastic, which is the presence of staminode and the number of salmon. Then regarding the, uh, bio the divergence time estimation analysis that we did with BEAST, we had like one fossil for Casearia, one fossil for Pseudosalix, which is one of the old group. And we also use for datation the crown group of the tree, the Malpigil. So we found that the Claseria clade originated 40 million years ago in the Oligocene. But one interesting result is that our African sub and Asian subclade was found to be younger than the neotropical clade. So it was 15 million years ago. And we also retrieved the clade of Caribbean endemic, which is the clade number nine here. And it, is, uh, it was originated 10 million years ago. And with those results, we could do the biogeographical analysis. Um, one thing to be noted is that since the species limits of the group are not so well known, we used the area of collection of each individual. And what we found is that uh, Kazaya apparently originated in South America. And then from them, it, multi it migrated multiple times in the Caribbean, which you can see in red, and once into Asia, Africa, which is the green part here on the tree. Um, we can unfortunately not tell the direction of the migration towards Africa and Asia because our sampling is not uh, strong enough. So we resolve the phylogeography of the group by saying that it originated 40 million years ago in South America. And from there, we have two hypotheses. So either the orange one, it migrated through the North Atlantic land bridge toward Asia and Africa, or we, have, we could have also long distance dispersion that occurs towards Africa and Asia. Um, and uh, an interesting result is that it was too young for supporting the Garlandia hypothesis, this bridge that would have connected South America to the island. So in our results are more supportive of the closure of Panama Isthmus during the Miocene and, and over water dispersal. So what is interesting about this study is that it's the strong, first strong phylogenetic framework that we found for Casearia and that we found interesting relationship with the other member of the tribe in which it is nested. We retrieved synapomorphies for the group, and we found that it originated when and where it, origin it originated. So in South America, 40 million years ago, from there moved to the old world 15 million years ago, and multiple times to the Caribbean, giving rise to an endemic of a Caribbean clade nine million years ago. And we also reveal some unclear, uh, our phylogenetic study reveals some unclear species limit. So I'm not gonna discuss it into that talk, but it's uh, the next type of my thesis. So I'm just gonna raise the point. But here, for example, as you can see, we've retrieved Casteria marikitensis, a South American species that was nested with good support within a clade of South American slash Caribbean species, which is Casteria mollis. And we also found those results with Zizifoides and Celoana nested within Caseria sylvestris and Manosensis, Caseria Manosensis nested within Caseria arborea. So this is, uh, this gives rise to the second chapter of the thesis when we resolve the species limit of those selected taxa by doing an integrative taxonomy approach. So we did some morphometrical analysis and some ecological niche analysis to try to see what are the limits of the species. Then after that, I did a checklist of the whole Casearia in the whole world with every relevant taxonomic information, this, where the synonym comes from, where are the types, when were they described and by whom, which um, we hope that in the future, it will be a good basis for a taxonomical revision. So I finished the thesis now and I submitted it to the university last month. So I'm also now looking for a postdoc. So if you know some opportunities or someone looking for postdoc, please let me know or contact me. And voila, that's it. If you have any questions.